This question is a perfect example of the strong words strategy. Sometimes strong words are in the answer choices and we have to notice them to recognize traps. Other times there's a very strong word in the passage that needs to just stand out in big, bold, red lettering, however you wanna think about it, that you just are like, oh my God, the entire passage is about this. So let me show you, I will highlight it when I get to it. In the early 19th century, some Euro-American farmers in the Northeastern United States used agricultural techniques developed by the Haudenosaunee Iroquois people centuries earlier. But it seems that few of those farmers had actually seen Haudenosaunee farms firsthand. So right here, firsthand, few had seen, uh, yeah, this is it, right? They're, they're, not only is the word firsthand standing out to me, but the fact that they're kind of repeating what that means, that few have seen it firsthand means that few have seen it, right? This is all just one big idea that they are really hitting hard. Barring the possibility of several farmers of the same era independently developing techniques that the Haudenosaunee people had already invented, yep, it might matter, but I'm, it's the first-hand thing that's really getting to me. These fa facts most strongly suggest that. Okay, so they did not learn it firsthand means they probably learned it in some other way. Let's see. Uh, those farmers uh, learned the techniques from other people who were more directly influenced by Haudenosaunee practices. That sounds like they learned it in some other way, right? Let's look at B, though. The crops typically cultivated by Euro-American farmers in the northeastern United States were not well suited to Haudenosaunee farming techniques. I barely understand that choice. I just know it's not about learning it in some other way, right? The entire passage is really hitting those strong words of how they learned it and that they didn't learn it firsthand, so they probably learned it secondhand. B is talking about the types of crops. I don't know, even know what they're talking about. That doesn't mean anything to me. C, Haudenosaunee farming techniques were widely used in regions outside the northeastern United States. Again, maybe this has something to do with it. Maybe if you're like, okay, if it's widely used outside, maybe then they learned it from another place. But then if they did, then why are they the specific Haudenosaunee techniques? I don't know. See, I have to tell a very complicated story to get to the same place that A gets me to right away, that they learned it from someone else. So C, if you're going in this roundabout way to get to your answer, that's not a good way to get there. You want it to be direct. You want it to be quick. So let's look at D. Euro-American farmers only began to recognize the benefits of Haudenosaunee farming techniques late in the 19th century. Again, I don't care when it happened. It's not about the timing. It's about how they learned it, right? So A is about how they learned it. They learned it from other people. Right? And notice how I can take the entire passage and answer and just boil it down to they learn the techniques not from the, the Haudenosaunee, but from other people. That's the whole point of the passage. So this is, yeah, the strong words idea. Sometimes we have to recognize when a passage is hitting what I would consider kind of like an adjective, kind of a description, some sort of word that carries a lot of meaning. So yes, they're defining things and they're introducing us to these farmers and these people, but it's not about that. It's about how they learned it. It's very clear, to me at least, that that's what's important. So maybe that is a skill that you develop with time. Hopefully if you watch more of my, my lessons, you will start to kind of see it the way I see it. But yeah, there are some times where I'm reading a passage and I'm instantly like, oh, this is the only thing that they want me to care about. And then I look at that same, just look for that same idea in the choices and only A has it. So it's very obvious to me that that's the answer, even though this is considered a very difficult question.